Um, it gives a, a kids a safe place where they can be themselves, where staff really learn to connect with them, teach them life skills in a non-academic drop-in setting. A lot of these kids may or may not have supports at home or they may have supports but they want to be more of themselves here so staff we kind of just act as another supportive group of adults that can help to see them thrive. I pictured it to be very quiet and the little old lady with the glasses with the string and the curly hair telling me to shh but I see people who are really cool and not as quiet and just friendly and open. Uh, we're moving past that idea that the library is just about books or a certain kind of books. Uh, I love reading comics and graphic novels and going to the Toronto Comic Arts Festival. Uh, so there's lots of different ways that uh, regardless of whether you're a reader or you're into tech or you only love comic books, we're offering a lot of different new initiatives that would be really interesting to, to a teen today. It's going me to like come out of my shell and it's like it's going me to write more and like it's just it's a fun ex experience overall because like you like the area there is like the people there are like they're uplifting and like they're supporting and like they're just really kind people so like it just helps you. We want to know what the youth have to say about the library. Uh, we want to make uh, hope to get some civic engagement with the youth so that they feel some ownership over the library. Uh, it's a really relaxed atmosphere with friendly, welcoming staff who really want to work with youth, um, not just so that they're able to get the volunteer hours just because they have to, but hopefully make it a meaningful experience and a way for them to give back to the community and see those results. I've been able to grow as a person and as a student so much because of the resources that I've been able to use here at the library. I remember uh, two and a half years ago I wouldn't have been able to take any leadership roles in anything, but now I can't because of this opportunity. At school, I'm only doing classes for my career. I want to do things that will actually help my community. I feel like I have a responsibility to do something to help the community, and this is one way of doing it. You have almost everything you can think of doing. It's not just one thing, and then if you want something else, you have to go somewhere else. It's just all one place. If you don't like to do one thing, you go to the next. Instead of, let's say I go home, but I don't want to be home watching TV, so I would have to go somewhere else to go get a computer, or I'd have to go somewhere else and get some books. You get to meet people from your school that you've never met before. You get to meet people from other schools that you definitely wouldn't have met without this. You get to meet other people from the community. It's just great to be here. You just come. You'll never know until you try. Like, if you're scared to, don't be. It's open, it's fun, everyone's helpful, everyone's friendly, everyone's just willing to know, help you if you need help. I think it's beautiful. I think the libraries and, and what they do, they, they really bring people together. They, they provide things for all walks of life. We encourage people to grow as individuals and to be who they are and to expand on who they are. So I think that's pretty beautiful. I think that's how I would describe it.